In today's video, I'm going to teach you all about multimeters. Hopefully after this little series we have, you know more than you've ever imagined about a multimeter. If you can, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I also appreciate some comments. So let's get started. Actually, for all these meters, I'll have in the link, if you go in my description and below in the video, I'll have links to all these meters on Amazon, and I'll tell you throughout the video which one I recommend most here. So stay tuned and you'll see that. All right, guys, just, just to save some of your time, I'm going to lay out what I'm going to go through here. So in video one, I'm going to talk about the, the tick tracers or the voltage detectors. Um, right here, we got the Fluke, the Sperry, and the Unity meter. Um, in video two, I'm going to talk about this T5600. It's a really nice it, uh, ampacity meter. It's kind of like an amp clamp. That's what we call them, amp clamps, these two. These meters also have voltage functions on them. Um, but in video three, I'm going to talk about the handheld fluke right here. I got a fluke 87 V meter. It has a bunch of options from voltage to millivolts to capacitance, continuity, diode checks, amperage, temperature. Um, there's a whole nine yards. The only thing this really doesn't have is it doesn't have the options of reading the amp clamp like these amp clamps do. So just jump to them videos if you're more interested in that. But in this first video, I'm going to talk about these tick tracers. So here we go. So getting started on the non-contact voltage sensors or detectors. They're also called tick tracers if you're in the industry. I'm going to start out with the fluke here because it's the most simple. You can see here on this fluke that it says a sensitivity range if you look real close from 90 to 1000 volts AC. That's a good sensitivity range. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm going to say about the 90 volts AC is you got to get, if you're looking at 120 volt circuits inside your house, you got to get quite close to the receptacle and I'll show you that in a minute. For this thing to start beeping um, but to turn this thing on you just hold the button and let go and it starts beeping and two flashes means it's going and when you see it continue to do two flashes like that that means it's uh it's trying to detect voltage so when we get to uh, voltage in my demonstration i'm going to show you that this thing will beep um, but another thing to shut it off you do the same thing just hold the button until it beeps and you'll see it stop blinking there um, one other feature about this this is the fluke one ac volt alert um, one other feature about this is if you're in a noisy environment or you don't want to hear all the beeping, if you just hold the button for longer than two seconds, it just shuts off the audio or the, it shuts off the sound. So it still blinks and you'll see the right, the red light. If you go next to a voltage source, it'll light up solid. Um, but in this sense, it doesn't actually do any beeping. One other thing I wanted to note here is on all meters throughout these videos, you're going to see a category and a voltage rating. Um, that's actually sort of important. Most people won't tell you this, but the category four rating is for outdoor and service entrance cables. Category three is for distribution equipment. So like down in your main panel board down. So you wanna make sure that the higher the category is, is the more dangerous areas these meters are rated for. I shouldn't say maybe dangerous, but it, it, it means that's the location that they're suitable to be used in. And this is good for all it says up to a thousand volts AC. If you're in most residential houses in the United States, you have 240 volts AC maximum. So this is good for that. And category four means it it's good for outdoor or service entrance or all of the below. So cat four means cat four, cat three, cat two, cat one, etc. Cat two um, to continue with that is just indoor receptacles and switches. Cat one's just small circuit electronics that are protected upstream. So that's the fluke. Now I'm going to go to one of my favorite ones, this Spiri. Spiri sells, I'll put this on my Amazon description below also. It's a reasonable um, tick tracer. It's a volt sensor, but the cool thing about this one is it has a sensitivity adjustment. And I'll demonstrate that in a second here also. The difference about this one is you don't turn it on and off like you do with the Fluke. You have to hold the button down the whole time you're trying to use it. That first initial beep kind of tells you that you got the thing sort of in the on mode. But after that point, um, you once it gets next to electrical, it'll start beeping constantly, ne next to voltage, I should, should say. The nice part about this is because it's adjustable, you can adjust it from 12 volts AC to 1,000 volts AC. So this one is more suitable for low voltage AC circuits if you're doing stuff like an outdoor lighting. Um, if you notice here, there's also a cat rating. All these meters are gonna have a category rating. This says at category three, it's good up to 1,000 volts. And if you remember, category three is distribution equipment, switches and receptacles and electronics. Um, category four, it's good up to 600 volts. 
So if you're doing any outdoor testing, um, this should only be used at 600 volts or less. The last thing I want to, the last non-contact voltage um, detector or meter that I want to show you here is this Unity. It's a UT210E. And again, I said I got this one off of Amazon also. Um, I'll put the, the link down in the description if you want to check it out on Amazon. Um, it has a sense and option on here for NCV, which is non-contact voltage test. So you slide that to NCV. And when you put this meter next to a live, live voltage or live wire, right here in this area, you'll see this thing starts to beep and it starts to beep faster and faster depending upon the amount of voltage it detects. There's no readout saying how much voltage it's detecting, but it does beep faster when it gets closer to a, a voltage source. So let's go and demonstrate some of these quick. All right, so what we're, what we're starting with here is the um, Fluke Volt Alert 1AC. Again, I'm going to show this thing uh, in the description. You'll, you can check it out on Amazon. This is a, an extremely good, reliable brand, Fluke. Um, as I demonstrated, I'm going to turn it on here. I always like to have the audio with it because it helps. Um, and you can see if I get this close to re a receptacle, what it's telling me is pretty much if the, the power is on on this receptacle. But if you notice how close I got to actually get to the receptacle before the volt detector notices it. That's the only thing I don't like about these flukes is that they're rated for 90 volts AC and the wall receptacle is normally has 120 volts. So you have to get quite close before it starts to sense. My tip is all the way in there. Um, and yeah, th th that's a great reliable meter. I'll almost rely on this more than any other one, but it doesn't have as many features as I'm going to show you next in that Spiri. Um, if I go over to the common side of this receptacle, you can see that that's the common side. Sometimes electricians wire these up backwards, so that's kind of nice to check on a volt detector like this. You can see that the left side doesn't have the voltage, but the right side does. All right, let, let's go to the Sperry next. All right, so on this Sperry here, you see here, I got the Sperry volt sensor. Um, it says non-contact voltage tester VD6505. I'll put this also on a link on Amazon in the description below, but if I hold this button and I get close for a while holding the button, you'll see that starts to beep. But if you notice, because this has a sensitivity adjustment, I don't have to get quite as close. Another thing, let's say I turn up the sensitivity on this with the sensitivity adjustment, I'm turning it up. If I turn it up, the farther I turn it up is the farther I can stay away from this and still sense voltage. That's sort of nice if you want to sense voltage on the other side of a wall. Right there, you can see on this, this cord that I have plugged in, I can stay a good inch away from this and tell that this cord is plugged in. If I unplug this cord, you can see there's no more voltage on it. If I plug it in, again. So that sensitivity knob is really, really nice. Also, if you have two hot wires right next to one another, or two wires with voltage, you can turn the sensitivity down until you get real close to the wire and only one wire, if only one wire is powered up, you'll, you'll tell which wire it is if you adjust the sensitivity down. So in my opinion, this Spiri is the best out of all my non-contact voltage sensors because of the sensitivity adjustment. I had this thing for over five years now and it's still very reliable. So next I'm gonna show you um, the last one on my list, the Unity meter. On the unity meter, if I turn this dial to non-contact voltage test, if you go right up to that, you can see it beep. And see how it beeps slower when you're farther away and the closer you get, it beeps a little faster. That's sort of nice, but there's no adjustment in terms of sensitivity. If I wanted to see if this wire, you, you can see this cable here has power on it. So it's nice. The nice part about this meter is it has a lot more functions built in if you need them. But it really doesn't, if I want to sense voltage out at a distance, like I can through walls with the Spiri, I can't do that with this one quite as easy. So just to review here, I went through the Fluke 1AC, um, the Spiri, I got to read it, it's VD6505, and this Unity UT210E. Um, and my recommendation, the Spiri is is the is my pick of all of them because of the sensitivity adjustment. It allows you to detect voltage presence um, no matter 
no matter the distance almost. I mean, you, you can't be more than a foot away or something like that, but you can detect from six to eight inches away um, a live voltage wire. That's really nice. The Fluke is my second go-to because um, the solid reliability of Fluke products. And the last one I would pick for non-contact voltage test is Unity. Um, I, I don't think it gives you enough enough feedback in terms of the speed of the, the pulse that you hear. It doesn't really tell you too much. It works. It's a good meter to have if it's the only one you have. But again, for non-contact voltage tests, I think that's what any homeowner should have in their toolbox for electrical voltage sensing. This is very important. In my next video, I'm going to go over some amp clamps and my recommendations on amp clamps. Um, and if you want to follow up on the third video, I'm going to talk about more handheld flute meters, the ones that help you detect voltage presence um, or more specifically voltage levels. So jump to that video also. You'll see in my description, I'm going to have a link to those videos if you want to get to them also. Thanks for watching.